So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week 10. You most likely will be able to actually complete the seasonal, the master of all. Don't quote me on that, but I think you're, you're able to now. Um, I wouldn't know because I haven't been doing them lately because uh, my internet's been still shit. But if you guys liked the video, if you guys found it informative, like, comment, subscribe really does help the channel grow and helps me feel a lot better. But let's get right into it. So for week 10, we have Tekian's Cunning, fully upgrade the barrier breach, true sight and safe passage abilities. I did this like fucking week five or something, not like when everything was available. So this is not too hard. I mean, if you're consistently keeping up with the stuff, then this shouldn't be this shouldn't be hard at all. If anything, most of you will have this already done. Uh, for, the, for the other one, is going to be Ascendant Quickening. Complete the Legendary Shattered Realm <laughs> activity in under 25 minutes. That's that's horrible. Whoever whoever told, whoever designed this is horrible. I hate this one. I'm not doing this one ever. Uh, display of Supremacy. Acquire the Vanguard Ornament for Ascendancy. This one's not hard. It's just a little time consuming. However, if you do want to get this really fast this week, uh, the Vanguard is actually getting double points, if I remember correctly. So this week would be the perfect opportunity for you to get this ornament, even though I think the ornaments are boring as fuck. Uh, Cold Light of Day. Defeat combatants with solar ability, stasis abilities, or shatter damage. Repeatedly defeating combatants supers grants bonus progress. Uh, this is not too hard. Just use either solar or stasis. Um, I would probably tell you to use stasis, just because... Uh, not only are you getting uh, the bonus to abilities, but you're also getting shatter damage as well. Although I wonder if shatter damage applies to other weapons or weapons in general. So like like that one exotic that we have, I wonder if it affects that. If it does, that'd be pretty cool, but not too hard again. And last but not least, Dreaming City Defense. Repel Shiva Wrath's footholds in the Dreaming City by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and law sectors. Um, Okay, this one's gonna be the probably the most annoying. Uh, however, you feel about bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. However, if you feel about that, this may or may not be annoying to you. For me, it's whatever's. I already have 33%, most likely because I did uh, a lot of it during the first week. But this is not gonna be too hard. Just a little annoying. And then for the for Eververse, let's see what she's selling. So she's selling our Arceo skin, which I think looks horrible. It might be this the armor that I'm wearing, but I think it, it looks horrid. I even, I still got it for some stupid reason, but whatever. Batwing entrance, which, oh God, it has, that's cool. I wouldn't buy it, but that's cool. Uh, Halted Oblivion, I, I don't know if I would get this or not. I mean, I didn't get the spider one, which I was like really wanting to get just because uh, I don't have much shader or I don't have much uh, bright dust. So I kind of have to be responsible about it. The Calavera shell, which looks really cool. Um, man, let me tell you, this one is the one that I'm like, I want it. I really want it, but it's I'm probably not going to get it. And then for the other freebies, we have freebies, I say, even though you have to pay for this. Uh, Wing Nightmare Projection, gross. Pride Glass, which if you don't have this, this is you can get this now. Uh, the Penguin Mask, which... I have no emotion towards this at all. Uh, Winchester's Ruin, which this one was, this is an old one. This is an old one. I think this is like Warmind. And the Fettered Shell, which I know a lot of people wanted this one. I personally, oh God, that is bright as shit. I'm not, I'm definitely not picking this one up just because I don't really care. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm much more of a, I hold my bright dust for ornaments or armor sets and shaders. So I'm, I don't really care about this. Uh, then we have Necromance Dance, which I hate it. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, then last but not least, Gorge Summoner, <clears throat> which I don't, I, I don't care. Like I really don't. And then for shaders, we have the I'm not gonna say that word, I can't even say it, which gives it pretty cool orange. This is actually a really cool shader, it's just that like, for some reason the boots are orange, which I hate. Uh, then the safety first, which, eh, eh. Then smashing success, which if you wanna look like Joker, go ahead. 
And then Midnight Talons, which gives it a very gold, a yellow gold, which if you want that, there it is. And then that's pretty much it. You have these right here, but I'm not going to look at them because I don't care. Uh, actually, this one's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This one's also pretty cool. And this one is just like whatever. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will have a bunch of videos this week. Uh, some, some, uh, I actually don't. I was thinking about doing some fashion videos, obviously. Uh, making a SIVA look for everyone and then making a an old Vex look for everyone as well. I did come up with a with a Hunter one, which I was like, eh, it looks okay. I'll have a picture up of them, all of them right now. Uh, if you guys want to see that video, let me know. I most likely will do it just because like, whatever. Like I, I want to be, po I want to post more, more fashion content. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'll link in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point, and I'll see you guys later.